It's not different. You can't knock someone out. <laughs> All right, I'll one up you then. Okay, please. You ready for bold? One up, one up me. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. You're not. Draymond Green gets traded. Okay. I mean, well, I, don't think, not- I don't. I don't think that's really that bold. You he don't just, think so? He just punched a guy. That's not that bold. It's, this guy is the heart and soul of the Warriors. <laughs> I know, but he who won also, a title also hasn't signed an extension. He I just, just punched a guy. This. I've thought about this so much. And I've listened to so many people talk about how, yeah, well, they could survive it because of their culture and all this bullshit all the time, right? And I'm thinking to myself, bro, do any of y'all go to work <laughs> every day? I think about this all the time. <laughs> Everybody I works work, from home. We all work and, from home, Chris. <laughs> okay, I work with guys every day. It's wellness week. I work with guys <laughs> every day who are my friends and we have what you would say is an unbelievable culture. We're happy. We're together. We are friends. We're damn near like family. But I promise you, if I knocked one of them out, it would never be the same. Yeah, but this is like this it's is just, different. No, it's not. It, it's it's different because he's no. dream on green. Because no, it's because not different. It's not different. It's not different. You can't knock someone out. <laughs> I would never be able to look at something. Like it's just broken, man. It's broken. With the second, but I'm, I'm, I'm that only person, saying. I'm only saying from the team perspective. I can see why they might say we're going to deal with this and try to work it out. But what you're saying is, I think we agree. I'm saying and, that. And the other thing is, I'm, like, I'm saying people, that initially, but you, but, but and you're the saying people that want to compare it to the Steve Kerr shit. A, there's no video that we all watch yeah, the, of Steve Kerr. The video, punched. the video changes everything. That's gonna it be changes everything. That'll and, be in Jordan Poole's mentions forever. It'll always be a meme. It's always gonna be out there. It's always gonna be in people's faces, and, as if it happened yesterday. And another massive part of this that that somehow people just gloss over. We didn't know. Michael Jordan hit Steve Kerr until years later. Yeah. We didn't even know that happened. If we knew at the time and there was a video and there was millions of views and everybody saw it and everybody's watching it and everybody's talking about it, yeah, that would have been a way different deal. And people's opinion of Michael Jordan would have been way different. Like, that's not even how news was around. The NBA wasn't even on TV. Well, new, news is also different. News is different today in how fast things move, but because that, because that has meme status, it's always going to be around. But I, I think the video. I think, I think we we agree, Chris. I just think we're looking at like the right now a little differently. Do you think I look at it like the Warriors want to try to make this work? Their intentions are to try to make it work. I think you're looking at it like. They know they'll have to trade Draymond eventually. So you think they know right now that they're going to have to trade him at some point, but it's about gaining leverage so you're not just taking, you know, the lowest possible Ten cents you know, on a dollar. Value. Yes, which it would be right now. Of course they, it is. They want to wait for the point that Atlanta's like, oh, yeah, we'll give you Collins and Hunter and, you know, a bunch of future picks and Okongwu. They're waiting for a Dallas to come out and say, we'll give you – Four or five first round draft picks. That's what they're waiting for, right? Everybody's not going to get over that. I, I they are all going to say the right thing. Jordan, Jordan Poole tried to say the right thing the other day. He did. He tried to. Who would want him though? That that's the other part of it though. You're like, mate, let's let's say it blows up and they can't get over it. But who is going <laughs> to offer Golden State enough for them to give up their, as you said, their heart and soul, future Hall of Famer, Lakers? Ross and two first round draft picks, a freeway with the Pacers where they get Turner and Heald, maybe something like that. Yeah, and I think the Hawks. Teams are, I mentioned them, Mavs, Heat, teams with championship dreams. Yeah, the Heat maybe. Yeah. Celtics, Hawks. How funny know. would that be? I don't know. That would be crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I'm just not sure what what the deal would be there. 
I'm just saying, like, there, anybody that's got a championship thought. To me, the Hawks are the team. Oh, the Hawks. that's interesting. Well, you get the, you get the clutch connection, yep. the Trey and DeJounte Murray. That's our, they're already clutch self. Draymond goes there. They, they do their, you know, Steph, Draymond style thing just with Trey instead of Steph. That's, I mean, I, team, think, I think Atlanta would be the team. If you knew somebody in your office knock somebody out in front of you, I, I mean, it just changes everything. It just does. Yeah. It just changes everything. It's never going to be right again. It's not. It's not. That's always going to be in the back of everybody's mind that that happened. Every time everybody gets sideways, you can't function as you would normally because that happened. I, I I totally agree with you, but I do think that their intentions are to try and make it work, which is why, as we talked about at the beginning of the pod, I think it could be Clay that ends up being the person who being is the first of the big three to get moved. Maybe that doesn't happen. No Maybe way. it ends up being Draymond. No but way. I could see I could see a world in which for basketball reasons you skip pool no, all this money. Draymond Gray you give Wiggins all this money. No, Clay's beloved. But for Draymond- who? But for who though? Who, like, who are the Warriors going to give Draymond up for to retain their their heart and soul and turn mm-hmm. and not just their heart and soul in some figurative sense, but on defense? Who's going to be your rim protector? Is it James Wiseman, who looked better in preseason, but he's not yet some defensive anchor? So who is it? Who do you get? Miles Turner's not that; he's a softy. Yeah. Like, who is it? John Collins? No, he's not that. Okongwu from Atlanta? He's young. May, maybe you Let me maybe, tell you something. Let me tell you something. Is it Cat? No, we mentioned Carl Anthony oh, Towns man. earlier. Oh, you said heart. <laughs> you said heart. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm going to tell you this. As someone who covered the Grizzlies versus the Warriors, the most unsung guy, Wiggins was fantastic, right? It's loony. Most- Looney. It's not, I mean, he he won him the series, bro. Yeah, Looney was so damn good, man. He's when it so mattered underrated. most, that dude had 17 friggin' rebounds. He had, yeah. like, offensive rebounds that just kept possessions going. Like, it wasn't Draymond. He, he only plays, Looney. like, 20. He plays 20, 25 minutes per game. He won but, him that series. But, but they're an important 20, 25 minutes. They really are. He won them yeah. that series. Yeah. 